Hey guys, Bob here, AKA Mr. Reef Safe, and today I'm gonna to talk a little bit more about Rotifers. This here is a Roddy Clean filter. This is the second one I've gotten. Uh, I like the first one so much that I wanted a second one, and uh, I got this from Reef Nutrition, and I tell you, this thing is the greatest thing uh, for growing Rotifers that I have found so far. But because I want to continue to learn and expand what I'm doing, I also got this also from Reef Nutrition. This is the uh, basic set. Uh, this is this is their first filter, and I'm going to set that up today, and I'm going to show you uh, how this one works. And I've never used one before, so I'm going to learn myself. It comes with a manual. It comes with a measuring line for the liters, but my bucket already has it on it, so I'm going to put that and the directions for how to put that on to the side. It comes with the main filter, which goes down the center. It comes with the PVC pipe that goes the length of the bucket. It comes with an air pipe and a pipette uh, with an air stone at the bottom of that. And it comes with a clip for the pipe to fit onto the side of the bucket. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all together. I'm going to attempt to do this one-handed. So here's the first clip and it's gonna go here on the bucket. And then of course the second clip goes on the other side. And then the PVC will go in between that. Before I do that, what I need to do is put it on here, which again, I'm going to attempt to do one-handed. And there it's on. And oh, I think before I do that, now I'm gonna have to put the air tube up the pipe and I'm going to do that in a second. Um, I couldn't do it at first. I was trying to figure out why, but that's because it came with this. This is a, a cover for it. So you, you can put it on the bucket. Now I'm just going to use like a regular bucket top uh, and clean it well, but this is a nice little thing. If you don't have a lid, this way you keep dust out and keep evaporation at a minimum. Okay. So I've got the air hose in there and you can see it right there. And of course it just slides in so I'm going to add my bubbler to that when I'm ready and now to hook this up here and this might be a little more tricky I'm going to pop that one off put it in and then clip it onto the bucket and there we go now what I have to do is add my water and uh, rotifers and the food and it will be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and get water into both of these and I'm going to do a 50-50 salt water fresh water mix and uh, I'm going to get it up to approximately 12 liters and then the rest I'm going to fill up with uh, some rotifers that I have already and of course the food. All right, so I got them filled up. I just went over 14 liters each, and it is about eight and a half liters each of fresh and then the rest of salt. And the reason I did that is because the rotifers will grow better in a lower salinity. They'll grow faster. So you want to keep it about 20 parts per thousand. You can grow it anywhere between four to 40 parts per thousand salinity, but they will grow faster on a lower level and with bubbles. So uh, even with the Roddy filter, the other one I have, I have a bubbler on it and I will probably put one on this too, but maybe I'll just try it without it, see if there's any difference. And of course this will have the bubbler and circulate the water that way. Here is my culture of rotifers that I've been using in just the airstone one. And I'm actually going to split that between these two and see how that works. The airstone one is clearly the least effective of them, but I just fed them a little while ago. So it's got good green water and we'll see how that works on these. If it, uh, if it actually helps. So each of these are going to get approximately two liters of rotifers with the phytoplankton already in it. And you'll see it's a little bit light green, but that's okay because I feed my rotifers twice a day. And later on when I feed my other culture, I will feed these guys again. But you can see that that is fairly green. And we're gonna see that since so we're starting at the same level with both of these, we're gonna see how these do. And I'll revisit it again in about uh, three to four days. So thanks for watching and I'll keep you guys updated. I'm Bob, AKA Mr. Reef Safe.